Hello everyone, Melissa here from Let's Talk with Melissa and Paul. Um, look at my shirt I have on. I have my Fiona shirt er, from the Cincinnati Zoo. My husband took me over the summer to see Fiona um, for the first time and I was super excited. In fact, we have some videos on this channel which are not getting um, hardly anyone looking at it. I'm not really sure why maybe we need to change the title, but um, exclusive footage of Fiona um, that I took. So you should watch it. Okay, everyone. Um, I have a, a $35 haul from Dollar Tree. Um, there are did this come from Costco? Mm -hmm. Okay. There are a couple things from Costco and a couple things from Walmart. Um, so let me show you that. My husband picked up the stuff from Walmart and Costco. So um, this is, you know, something I use all the time. Um, I've told you guys about it. This is the Clarifying Pink Grapefruit Body Wash, like the Acne Body Wash. This is comparable to the Neutrogena, but it's a couple dollars cheaper. Um, so anyhow, uh, I have that. And then um, you guys probably know that I love llamas from um, when the setup was in my room. Uh, in the background, uh, I had llama things. And my husband saw this and got this for me. Isn't that freaking cute? And Will even saw it and said, Mommy! <laughs> so, um, my husband got me that. I absolutely love it. Um, it is Christmas themed just because it has this, like, mistletoe. Um, I don't care. I'm going to leave it out year-round. It's freaking adorable. It's that, um, you know, Dollar Tree had some items made up with this kind of uh, material. You can't really see, but he had, okay, there you go. He had, it's beautiful iridescent. You see that? Um, off the white is iridescent and off the colors. It's, I know it's very hard to see, but um, there, you can see some of it there. Absolutely love it. So, okay, another thing that my husband knows um, that I absolutely love at Christmas time is um and you know this is something um you can only get once a year at um costco so it's the snack factory pretzel crisp white chocolate and peppermint samuel loves these too so i will share these with samuel and you know um paul's not interested but i'll also see if will wants some so I will share that. Um, he also bought me this big bag, and I already the chocolates aren't in here. They're already in a different container. But this is another um, once-a-year type thing from Ghirardelli Peppermint Bark Collection. Now this one has... Oh, okay, so here's how I know. Um, it has two different types. It has one that has dark chocolate which has like the brown, see that right there, the brown um, on the label. And then the other one is the milk chocolate. And um, I was wondering, I had one of those earlier and I couldn't tell because the label was just white and didn't say if it was dark or chocolate. So I didn't really know what it was, but a nice big bag, um, t almost 21 ounces. Love those. So that also came from Costco. Okay, so what I have um, left is um, the Dollar Tree haul. So, this is the first time I've seen this Mango Nice Beverage um, Azul. And I've always wanted to try um, some of these juices, but... A lot of these juices have way too many calories, but I did find this version, um, and this only has um, 50 calories in it. See it right down there by my finger, 50 calories. 
Um, 100% delicious, made with real fruit juice, 33.8 fluid ounces. So once this gets nice and chilled, I will um, try it. Yeah, it says serve chilled, shake well, refrigerate after opening. Contains 10% mango juice. Ingredients are water, mango pulp, sugar, citric acid, CMC, natural flavor, vitamin C, beta, carotene, and sucralose. Made in the USA, New Jersey. Um, so yeah, um, I do have to be careful with being a diabetic. I can't have all kinds of sugary drinks all day long. But I didn't think the 50 calories was bad because I do ever so often. Um, my husband picks me up the um, that orange juice. Trop 50. So, yeah, I'll let you guys know what I think about this. I also want Samuel to try this because he, um, he likes to try, for the most part, certain juices. So, um, I'll make him try it. <laughs> Because sometimes he's, you know, I don't want to try that. And I'll I'll make him try something and he's like, oh, I really like that. So um, this is a version um, that I have never seen before. And this is another um, healthy drink for me. Uh, because, you know, I do crave juice like other people, you know. Just because I'm diabetic doesn't mean I'm going to give up my juice. I just have to find different ways. Um, so this is Old Orchard Healthy Balance. This one is white grape and strawberry, and this one is only 10 calories. Now I do have, uh, we found a bunch of these diet drinks from Dollar Tree for me in different flavors, like cranberry, um, cranberry and white grape, um, grape and cranberry mix, and all kinds of different flavors. So, and those have like five calories, but this is 10. So yeah, this um, will be chilled as well. And um, I like to drink this. Um, I like to drink it a couple different ways. I like to drink it with ice all the time. But um, another thing that's good around the holidays is get like your diet, something clear, like a, a diet Sprite, and then add some of this to it. So it's almost like a, a cocktail, you know? Um, so I do like it that way, and then I do like it just plain. So I got that. Okay. Um, we're going to start with treats. I've been bad. Um, oh, sorry. <laughs> I got two boxes of these Lemon Heads original. I absolutely love lemon heads. I'm addicted to these. I don't know what it is, but I crave this really, really badly. Um, I really like the sourness to it. So I purchased two boxes of this, and um, yesterday um, I ate it. I ate the box. I was bad. I know. I was bad. So... Then I also got two boxes of the Chewy Lemonhead variety, which is, in case you've never had this before, it is green apple, orange, lemon, grape, and cherry. And these boxes, 15% um, more, all three of these boxes. So, I got that. Okay, more treats. My husband um, saw these finger or Butterfinger minis, so we got a bag of those. And I love Russell Stover um, pecan delights. I buy like a whole bag of these at Walmart that are individually wrapped. So this is like uh, no, it is a bar. Okay, it's it's this size from here to here. Um, I got two of them. I really, really like these as a change when I'm craving candy. Under the snacks, um, I got a box of these. I only saw one box, but I don't know if, if you ever see these, you need to pick up multiple, multiple boxes of these. 
These are freaking awesome. They're a crispy cookie. They're not chewy. They have the little candies in them, and these are wonderful. They're little bite size. I highly, highly recommend these. And this is something I get all the time if I find them, um, is the Double Stuff Oreos. You get two packs and three cookies per pack. Now, they also had the regular Oreos, which had a different variation. Um, I think you got four cookies per two packs, but I prefer the Double Stuff. So I really like these. Every time they have them, I like to pick some up. Okay, that was all for the sweets. Um, oh, no, 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 my bad. Sorry, my husband showed this to me. Um, sorry. These Pyroline cookies, um, these are the chocolate hazelnut. This is a 3.25 ounce for a buck. You know, they do have these at Walmart for, they're like $5, but they are bigger. But this would be a really nice way of doing it so the cookies stay totally fresh. Um, because the bigger container, you know, might get stale if you don't eat them right away. But it says there's five servings per container. So there are two wafers. per. So there's like 10 cookies in this. And this would be really good... Um, to put into a treat bag or into a um, coffee cup, you know, and make like a little treat bag for someone. So um, these two are pretty much seasonal. You, you won't find these, I don't think, too much. Of course, at Dollar Tree you might, but um, I know at Walmart they're kind of seasonal. So I like those. So yes, that is it for treats. Now, you know... I don't know what it is, but the Dollar Trees, we have three Dollar Trees around us. And, um, well, really two that are closest. And they are not very good when it comes to having, like, accessories. So I get really irritated when I watch everyone else's videos and I can't find, you know, they've got these really cute, um, something for Habitat socks, you know, um, I don't know. So I I never find a good selection of socks. So I did find these um, fashion socks, women's size 5 through 9. Um, they're kind of thick. They remind me of sort of like a wool blend sock that I like to order from Amazon. So I like that um, blue color. It's almost like a light blue jean color. And then I found it in this um, marled this is merled too, but it's not as um, merled as this one. Um, it is purple and sort of pink. Same kind. They had one other color. It was a lighter pink, which I didn't get. I really don't know why I didn't get it at the time. I really should have, but I, I really liked these two colors. So, and I always like to look in the men's section because I have found some cute men's socks. And I'm, I am searching and searching for a pair of llama socks. I have yet to find any. But I did find these really cute little sheep socks. They're gray background. Um, the heel and toe is like black in the top um, with these white and black little sheep. So I was happy to find those. <clears throat> Sorry, I need to take a drink real quick. Okay, my husband did find me um, these cute llama things um, as we were going out to check out and waiting. They had these adorable little small containers of lotions. This is the llama, and this is grapefruit, which I love. I love a good citrus um or lemon verbena type fragrance from L'Occitane, my favorite. But um, they had unicorns. They had the llamas. They are sealed. Let me see if both. Yeah. 
So we're going to open one so I can see what it smells like. They're all they're one fluid ounce. This also too would be really cute in um some bodies make them a cute little bag with some so cute socks and different kind of things. I don't really smell a lot of grapefruit. I don't smell a lot of scent to it, which it's, it is a nice and thick lotion. But the packaging is freaking adorable. I mean, look at that. So just the packaging alone would be why I'd want to carry it in my purse. So I got two of those. I know a lot of people were talking about um, finding Yardley of London pumpkin and cream and cinnamon soap. I have never, ever been able to find it. But all of this Dollar Tree stuff, we did go to um, Miamisburg, Ohio. Springboro Pike store 1342 which is where we found this stuff and I find that uh, we don't mind traveling to that location because they do have a lot of stuff there that I can't find at other places so they did have the pumpkin cream and cinnamon yardly soap I'm gonna open it everyone was like raving about it how good it smelled and I would get really freaking irritated because I couldn't find it Mmm. Yeah. I like that. You can definitely smell it. It's not overbearing, and it does have like a light, fresh scent. I like that. It smells very refreshing. So, um, I'll definitely use this in the shower. Um, I think. Yeah. I really like the smell of this. I only bought the one, so when I go back, if they have it again, or if they still have it, I'll purchase a couple more. <clears throat> uh, again, stupid of me. I don't know why I didn't pick up more of these. They did have these Travel Pack um, antibacterial wipes. Huh. It says you get 40 counts. 30 was crossed out. So that, yeah, Melissa, idiot, why didn't you get more than one? Um, I do keep face wipes in the car from the Dollar Tree because I get really sweaty with the masks. And after I get out of the store, I like to wipe it down. Plus, then you can use it on your hands. <clears throat> and Will um, is really good about, he'll say, Mommy, he wants a wipe. And he wipes his hands off with a wipe. And then he wants the antibacterial gel. And then he'll use that. So we do keep both of those things in the car. So if you happen to see these, be smarter than me and pick up more than one. Like I said, 40 count in there, which is really good. It used to be 30. So that's um, a bonus. Even though it, yeah, it does say 33% more bonus size. Yep. Okay. Now, um... The only thing is that this particular store, the pet section is, is never really good. And the pet section in my other locations aren't very good either. So I have yet to find a uh, Dollar Tree store that has a really good pet selection. So these people that are picking up really cool things for their pets, I don't know where. Obviously, you have a much better store than we do. But I did happen to find these two really, really pretty teal or turquoise, more turquoise, bowls with rubber on the bottom. They're calling them cat bowls. Um, I don't plan on using these for the cat. I plan on using these um, upstairs for Peanut because um, my littlest chihuahua, the oldest chihuahua, he's seven, Peanut, um, I have to be really careful with him because he has low sugar. So um, we have a playpen set upstairs for him that can be closed. And I like to close him up in that and with his food because I have to lock it. Otherwise, these other dogs of ours will eat all of his food. And that defeats the purpose for him being safe. So there's mommy's baby. There's a baby.
baby boy. There he is. This is a little baby I have to keep track of. He's just a little, little chihuahua. He's, his weight ranges from four pounds um, up to five, but mostly four pounds. So I have to, he's very, very fit. And if you don't know about chihuahuas, they have a very high metabolism. So these are going to be to keep upstairs to make sure he has food available in his pen at all times. So in the middle of the night, if he wakes up and he's hungry, we don't have to worry that the other dogs have ate his food. So I got two of these. And they did have a lot of different colors, but I just thought these um, really bright turquoise were really, really pretty. I'm trying to see if where you can see the color the best. They did have um, purple and some other colors. So I got those. Mommy got to put her baby down. But that's my peanut. That's mommy's peanut. He's my good boy. Okay. Um, another thing that I have a really hard time finding, and I'm sure a lot of people are having this problem, and it's because of the pandemic, is um, I cannot find the Lysol type sprays, even generic. I don't mind using the generic. I never could find it at our three um, Dollar Trees. I did look this weekend at the location I told you, and I found the spray disinfectant, and I picked up three of them. Again, I probably should have picked up a couple more, because um, very hard to come by. So if you see this with the pandemic going on, you really need to have extra of these in your house. Because my husband did mention that when he went to, tar um, not Target, when he went to Costco today, no toilet paper. None. And then when he went to, was it Walmart? No, Kroger. Kroger, he found some toilet paper, but they only allowed you to have one paper towel, and one thing of toilet paper. So we need to all start being proactive, I guess. I'm not, you know, I'm not saying go in there and take everything away from everyone so nobody else has any, but something like this, we are a household of four and we have five animals. So we're a household of nine. So we really, um, need this so that's why i bought three no he's i counted the cat that's five. Oh. um okay so um we ended up getting my husband picked these out the boys and my husband um, run through, they like this like three in one stuff, which is over here. I haven't got to yet, but because it's winter, um, I don't know about you guys, but my poor hands are wrecked, totally wrecked. I'm having serious issues with my skin splitting right open and it freaking hurts. I'm talking split raw. I have one, um, right here. And I actually um, took a real thick glob of cream and put a Band-Aid on it last night. Right here, my skin always pops open. You can see it right there. It's starting again. Um, and back here. So, um, oh, Paul, get me that other lotion, please, out of there, because I did buy that. So start using, um, if you can find any kind of products that help with extra dry skin, you need to purchase it. So we got three of these Oil of Life Moisturizing Body Wash, two-in-one, cleanser plus moisturizer, and it is made in the USA. And this is 18 fluid ounces, so that's a really nice size. And again, it says new value size, 18 ounces for the price of 15. Let's see what it smells like. It... 
It smells a little fruity to me, but very light and fresh. I like the smell of it. I like the smell. So if I'm really weird, if something stinks really bad, I won't use it. That is why you will never hear me recommending um, Dollar Tree's hand sanitizer gel. Don't buy it. It has the most sickening, disgusting smell. Nasty. But this, I found this. I was looking for um, a lotion, again, for very dry skin because of all the cracks and stuff. This is super, super nice. This is Dermacil Dry Skin Treatment Original Lotion. Controls even severe dry skin, skin lipid, and EFA treatment, hypoallergenic. This is distributed by Fantasia Beauty, New York. But very thick, not runny. See that? It's not running down my hand very thick and I used this last night now it may um, take a few minutes to um, you know work into your hands your hands may be a little slippery I really like it I don't really smell any smell it doesn't say um, unscented or anything so I don't find it offensive but um, my hands felt um, felt better when I woke up because normally, I swear, you look at my skin and it looks horrible. It looks like I've been stuck out in the desert somewhere out in the sun and totally cracked. And it's very, very painful because um, I'm kind of freaked out about germs, so I overwash. So also, if you see this, pick some of this up. Um, now the next time when I go back, knowing that I really like this, I will try to pick up a couple of these. Okay, so we got four of these VO5 Men 3-in-1 um, body washes. It, what it is, it's shampoo, conditioner, and body wash. Um, bonus size, 20% more. Um, it's 15 ounces. It's This one is Ocean Surge plus five vitamins. So my husband picked up two of those. And then two of the green, which is oh, Fresh Energy. So that's what the three of them use. Excuse me, I have my own um, products. Like I use this on a special thing for my back. And then I have a different kind of cleanser that I use on my body. So I don't use this, their products and they don't use mine. So, okay. One other thing I forgot to show you guys that we got from Costco. Uh, my husband found, and this also seems to be uh, seasonal. They had these four pack of um, toys. They are super cute this year. Last year they were more brown color. Cute animals, but they just were brown. These are really cute and brightly colored. This is, looks to me like, sort of like a little hippo. Yeah, they're Kong toys. Kong. This cute um, pink and purple, um, uh, has a, a squeaky thing in it. Finn wants it. This cute little koala bear is more hard. <coughs> that is a really loud squeaky toy. <coughs> and you can feel the shell of whatever that is inside. How much were these, Paul? Like 10 bucks or? No, it was, uh, I think it was closer to... 15, but they had a coup, instant coupon attached to it, so I think I got it for like 12. He thinks he only paid like $12. Now this one is interesting. It's It looks like a bear, and it's got these legs that kind of dangle. But see, look, they, if the dog wants to pull at it, they stretch. <laughs> and 
and they're super soft. And then this last one is really cute. It's a little um, ape monkey, and his legs are like tied together or stuck together. <laughs> but he kind of has a hard, something hard in his legs. Which one was the one I, that was crinkly? I don't know which one that was. The last one that he went on. So, super adorable for the animals. Oh, sorry. Um, on this particular one, the bear looking thing, um, his legs have some crinky, crinky, crinkly material in them. Plus the squeaker up here by his eyes. Super cute. The dogs love them. <sighs> so, that was our Dollar Tree haul. That was um, some of the stuff we got at Costco. Some of the few items. There's Paul that we got at Walmart. Yeah, I'm starting I, to get really hot. I, from, I was bought from Walmart. <sighs> so, um... I'm sorry we haven't had a video for a while. We are having um, a family emergency. Um, in fact, since September, we've been having a family emergency. I will put a, a, a separate video out about that. Um, but just briefly, our son Will, which you guys know and love, he's our oldest son. He's autistic. Um, he's the one that would like to get on our old channel um, and paint and do crafts with me. He's um, been having seizures, so yeah. It's been really stressful. But I will do another video um, on another day explaining all that, okay? All right, everyone, I hope you um, enjoyed this video. And if you're not subscribed to us, please consider subscribing. We do all kinds of different things on here. Um, it's not just hauls or whatever. Um, we will start doing some crafts. It's just, we've been a little busy right now with Will's situation. So, um, please like the video and le please leave me comment comments. I love, um, when people leave comments, I like to, um, answer comments. I like to, um, comment back and forth with everyone. Um, Okay. I hope everyone has a wonderful Thanksgiving um, coming up this week. It is Monday evening at 10.50 right now. Sunday. I'm sorry, not Monday. Oh, my Lord. <sighs> it is Sunday. I am sorry. Sunday. Um, yeah. Okay. All right, everyone. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Bye. If you have enjoyed this video, click the subscribe button to get the latest contacts. And check out the other great clips on Let's Talk with Melissa and Paul on the YouTube network. Thank you.